first thing you'll notice is a fresh user interface. All the applications are actually surrounded by glass. It gives you the opportunity to see what's in front, but it also gives you a sense of depth in seeing what's happening behind itself. We've also improved how you switch between applications. In fact, if I go down to the taskbar, I actually get now live previews of the applications, including motion video. We've extended that same live preview concept to the fast application switching of Alt-Tab, meaning that I can now see all of the applications as they're running, find the appropriate one, and continue to see what's happening behind it and the applications in a live mode. We've also given you a couple of new ways to actually see information itself. The two that I like are Windows Sidebar and Windows Sideshow. The sidebar is the space over on the right-hand side of the screen that houses small applications or gadgets that give very specific functionality or information at a glance. There's four in my sidebar. There's actually a picture window showing some of uh, the pictures that my friends have placed up on MSN Spaces. I have an RSS feed. I even have an egg timer. My favorite, though, is actually a prototype built by our partner, Fox Sports. And this allows me to see late, the latest up-to-date sports information that I care about. Nice part about this gadget, I can drag it to the desktop and see a little bit more if I care about it. It's a great way to stay on top of the information that's important to you and cut through that clutter. Bill talked a lot about information on the PC, and consumers have been clear. They want great tools to find the information when it's relevant to them. Search is important to them. Windows Vista delivers. In fact, if I go to the Start menu, I can now type the application I'm looking for without having to search through lots of folders and immediately find the information that's important. I can go to the Windows Vista library and search for content that I care about. And it's going to search through all of those documents, no matter where they're stored, what they're called, and bring the relevant information to me, providing me that sense of clarity that I look for. Well, what about confidence? Parental controls. For the first time ever, the Windows operating system is going to have built-in parental controls. I'm going to go ahead and select my son's account, Toby. And you can see the types of restrictions. As a parent, I now get to decide to implement on my PC. I have web restrictions, time limits, games, 